claim to do, but all sites but haven't been inspected. decertifying implies that they're not in compliance. No, decertifying implies that all of those other things that are in the U.N. resolution are not happening. Those are total violations. They are violating every single one of them. So this is U.S. law is not just part of the agreement. U.S. law talks about everything else, and it's good that it does. They're not, they're not violating the four corners of the nuclear deal. Well, I think right now we're saying, no, as far as we see, they are in compliance of that part of it. But what we're saying is, is America still safe? Are we still okay with them doing all of these other bad things? And what you're seeing is everybody is turning a blind eye to Iran and all of those violations out of trying to protect this agreement. What we need to say is we have to hold them accountable. They can't be continuing to support terrorism around the world like we are seeing they do. They can't continue to test ballistic missiles, which will lead to a nuclear Iran. They can't continue to do arms smuggling in the way that they're doing. Are we really ready to have them become a North Korea? Are we going to allow that to happen? So you're saying you, you believe that there are other dangers posed by Iran, but right now remaining in the deal is in the national security interest of the United States? I think that's why you saw the president staying in the deal. He's saying to Congress, can we make it better? What else can we do so that we can better protect Americans? And I think that his engagement with Congress is something that never happened under President Obama. They were never allowed to debate it. They were never allowed to discuss it. So now Congress is going to be fully engaged on the threats of Iran. These are all lessons learned from North Korea, every single one of them. Had this been done with North Korea over the last 25 years, we would not be in this situation. What you see is the president is trying to make sure that Iran doesn't become the next North but, Korea. But if the president moves to, you know, basically change the terms uh, of the deal using, using Congress, what kind of message does that send to North Korea? Doesn't it send a message to them saying it's not worth it engaging in any talks with it, the United States? It sends the perfect message to North Korea, which is we're not going to engage in a bad deal. And should we ever get into a deal, we're going to hold you accountable. We're not going to look the other way just because we think we've made a deal and we're not going to continue to watch it. We have to watch it. What That's is the part of what we want to do is be tough, be strong and hold anyone accountable. What is the president's position?